day, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we want to share a part of a message from the late Pope that suggests the end times are near and warns of a catastrophic event this year. We wish you a pleasant start to the day and divine strength throughout it. Each morning begins with the holy grace of Jesus Christ and God's blessings are intertwined with your smiles. Please share this video and subscribe to our channel. Before we delve into the main part of this video, let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In a surprising event, Pope Benedict XVI, who passed away in December 2022, is said to have appeared to Sister Benedicta of the Holy Cross in Colombia on February 2, 2023. This encounter, so soon after the Pope's death, has left many shocked and has fueled speculations about the impending end times. Sister Benedicta recounted that she experienced this apparition while deep in prayer within her convent. What transpired during this visitation was shocking and horrifying. These visions made Pope Francis fall into contemplation. In his apparition, Benedict told Sister Benedicta that he had issued an encyclical stating that the Blessed Virgin Mary is our mother in the order of grace, corredemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. Her motherhood is universal and has been addressed to all peoples and races since the creation of the world, beginning with the salvation accomplished by her son, Jesus Christ. Benedict also said that the encyclical was among those burned by enemies already within the Church in the Vatican even before it could be promulgated. He warned of major riots taking place, especially when the next Senate of Bishops ends in the next year. The sign of this painful period will be a major conflict between two countries. The Earth, our beloved home, faces impending destruction of unimaginable proportions. The Church, a steadfast and unifying institution, finds itself embroiled in conflicts and turmoil, casting doubt on its traditional role as a beacon of solace and guidance. Benedict told the nun that he believes the papal definition of the spiritual motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary will be an extraordinary remedy for the current global crisis that threatens humanity. The end times hint is rooted in the apparitions of the Blessed Mother to Ida from March 1945 to May 1959 in Amsterdam, Netherlands. There, the Blessed Mother said she wanted to be known as the Lady of All Nations and that a corresponding image of her be done. Benedict's revelations to Sister Benedicta were shocking. He said he was forced to resign from the papacy and had insisted on wearing his white vestment after that to hint that he remained the legitimate pope. He also said his death was a case of slow euthanasia. Furthermore, we are eager to convey the most recent messages bestowed upon us by our Blessed Mother as they were channeled through the mystic Eduardo Ferreira in San Jose, Brazil on the auspicious date of October 13, 2023. Peace, my children. I come today to bring you a message of love, love, and hope. Many are being lost because they do not meet Jesus, they do not entrust themselves to Jesus. Many are still in the service of Satan and think only of themselves. I am here to lead you to the kingdom of God. Do not forget, you have a short time on this earth. You need to build your dwelling place in heaven. Do not seek to satisfy yourselves in this world, here everything is temporary. I am here to help you. I am happy when you listen to me and answer my requests. Pray. Our Lord Jesus said on October 27, 2023, My child, the great hour is approaching when many will be caught off guard. My wounds are bleeding profusely and my only consolation is the prayers and act of suffering my faithful offer to me. The war that has been waged upon my little ones has become a plague upon the innocent. I can no longer hold back my father's just hand. I can no longer restrain the justice of my father upon his people who refuse the mercy of his son. For I am Jesus, this earth is going to begin to rock and tremble on the day of the earthquake that will begin to ripple all across the world. Many will come to see that their ways were not pleasing to me. Satan has infiltrated every home, every family, and every church. He and his companions have infiltrated every nation and many hearts that no longer recognize the truth. He has infiltrated the minds of my children by using fear to bring false comfort, false hope, and false peace. The hour has come when those who have become the minions of his work will find themselves amongst those who have chosen the same path of darkness for all eternity. My children, every soul is created in my image and likeness. I am the bread of life, the prince of peace, the savior of the world, and I am man. For I am Jesus, what my Father ordained from the beginning will be in the end. When you deny what you were created, you deny your heavenly Father. The enemy seeks to destroy the woman because of her humility and obedience. The enemy seeks to destroy man because of his righteousness and the truth. 
My children, this world you have come to know is passing away. My mother has been coming for some time to plead with her children to turn away from this world, to seek out her son, to accept my mercy so that you can come home to your father. It is time, my children, to answer the call of your mother. She has been sent to light the way in bringing her children back to her son. Come to me in prayer, come to me in adoration, come to me in humility, for I have a place prepared for you that this world can never suffice. Now go forth, my children, and be at peace, for my mercy and justice will prevail.